Are you ready? That's right. The next installment of 007 returns to theaters tomorrow. And we've got Robin G. from Ala Moana Center to help gentlemen uh, achieve that Bond-style look. Hi, Robin. Hi. Good morning. Good to see you. So, you know, they're actually celebrating an anniversary this year. Yeah, 50, right? 50 years. I, I have to say, I saw the movie last night. It's amazing. Really? I love it. But I'm, I'm such a girly girl, but for movies, if things aren't blowing up and catching on fire, I'm really not into it. So this definitely met my standard for oh, movies. So. Wonderful. Yeah, we had the advanced screening last night yeah, as well. Yeah. So. Cool. And so you want to showcase a few tips on how men can achieve that Bond-style look. Mm -hmm. And so you've got two models for us. And tell us a little bit about what this gentleman here is wearing. Well, I think Bond kind of has... He has several different looks, but two distinct ones are the, like, I break girl's heart look, and then I blow things up look. Ah. So this first one is really up. the I blow <laughs> things up look. And you'll see this kind of early in the movie. We still have him in a striped shirt, so that way he can throw a suit on over it if he needs to. But we have this bomber jacket, kind of a fitted jeans, so that way he can still, like, run around and move, you know, but he still looks really tailored, has that nice bomb silhouette. And then we have him in kind of a riding boot, but that can also, again, dress up if he needs it, too. Okay. This look is head to toe from Diesel, oh. and I love it all the way down to the aviators and then of course Bond has to have his gadgets unfortunately I don't have anything that blows up <laughs> it's too bad but I did get him a really cool watch this is their um, from Mont Blanc and you can actually set the time for 24 different world cities all at once which I thought was really cool and perfect for Bond because well in the movies he's in one city and two minutes later he's in another one in oh, a whole different country goodness. so okay. I felt like that was perfect Wonderful. for him. Wonderful. Now as much as I like someone that blows things up I gotta say my heart is with a guy in a nice pressed suit. Exactly. And uh, <laughs> so is that the heartbreaker look? It is. Okay. This is the like I can get any girl I want. Again you'll see that in the movie. So we have Kai here head to toe in Emporio Armani. Mm. Um, one of the things that you'll see, especially near the end of the film, is this blue shirt instead of the white, which is really good for guys. It's a little more subtle, not as stark, but then you have that crisp, clean look. Of course, James Bond is this like, iconic, tailored look, and I think we really achieve that here with the subtle pinstripe, mm -hmm. the wingtip, and the shoe. And then, of course, his gadgets or accessories. Again, we have a watch from Mont Blanc. This one is a Nicholas Ray Asek um, open home piece. And what I really like about it is that it's designed to look like the old chronographs, which oh. were used by the kings when they raced their horses okay. in England. Watches so, are making a comeback. They are. And, yes. you know, James Bond being English, I thought that was a perfect look for him. And then I had to grab a pen. Okay, he's moved away from the pen that explodes. But this one is from Mont Blanc, and it actually has a diamond in the tip. So it's got their classic snow cap oh, with a Mont Blanc diamond in it. So wow. I feel like I should put this in a frame, not really write with it. Yeah. But, you know, I got gorgeous? a Mont Blanc pen once for my birthday, and I never used to it's in the case because you don't you just yeah like, you just it out so people know that you have it <laughs> exactly <laughs> all right well very cool thank you robin and thanks to kai and gerald gerald for being with us this morning you guys look stunningly handsome 007 in theaters tomorrow and uh i believe we also have a website it's uh all in one center Yes, and, then, and also, also their skyfall-movie.com for more information on the Bond flick. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back on Wake Up Today, but first, we're going to send it over to Mike Eisen. He's going to play a little music for us because tonight you can start voting for this young man who is competing to represent Hawaii in a national competition. Oh. Yes.